Cheeseman Reservoir, we're located halfway between Conifer and Woodland Park. They were surveying in 1898 and then started building the dam in 1900. We mostly do the water changes when water resources calls. The more water in the reservoir, the more you'll get out of the valves. Depending on the flow, if we're real low, we'll run one or two. They'll tell us to go up or down. And then it can vary anywhere from building fans, grading roads. I've been working here for 23 years full time. I like it up here because of the isolation, the scenery, the location, the people I work with. I grew up, my granddad's had horses, my dad's had horses, and we just fell into it. This is kind of like ranching, but without the cows. When the fire happened here during the Hayman, out of 8,500 acres, we owned maybe 1,000 didn't burn. We have had quite a bit of sediment come into the reservoir, and it does diminish our holding capacity. One of the biggest challenges that we have at Strontia Springs Reservoir is going to be uh, the result of major wildfires that have occurred upstream. It has posed lots of challenges that our engineers and watershed scientists have to look at. So they're doing their very best to come up with solutions that not only will uh, fix things in the short term, but also find long-term solutions. We aerial seeded with a helicopter and planted a bunch with four-wheelers. We got some of those trees that are doing real good. So water from Strontia Springs Reservoir goes to two different treatment plants, Foothills and Marston. About 80% of Denver Water's raw water supply comes through Strontia Springs. Waterton Canyon is special because it's an interface between the natural world and then the man-made built environment. I'm one of three hydro operators that operate all the diversion dams and uh, pipelines through Waterton Canyon. Anytime Jade makes a release up at Cheeseman Reservoir, we're the next in line to catch that water. We really do work as a team here. Even when you've got lots of years under your belt, there's still something that pops up that, that you might need a little bit of help with. Uh, the journey of water, especially in Colorado, is so uh, dramatic. Being able to be a part of that and affect so many lives is pretty impressive and uh, awe-inspiring. <laughs>